Hello, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Here we are at just about dawn of the ninth day. It's about to kick over. There we go. And I have a few things to show you. So first off, I'm going to show you this cupboard. This cupboard are all of the most interesting things that I found over the course of uh, the night. Now, mind this, of course, a couple of, uh, you know, items that were already in here. Uh, we have, of course, basically it's just this stuff, you know, here. We got a water purifier mod schematic. Um, I don't really know what that is, since it's a mod and not an item, but we'll use that anyway. I got some wire tools. That's going to be important. I got a polymer string mod attachment, which I don't really know. I guess that's for a bow. So we got that. Hobo stew recipe. That's probably going to be important. We'll use that. We got a hot cowboy hat mod, which I think is just the actual mod, not the recipe. We got ourselves a double-barreled shotgun, which that thing is going to replace my blunderbuss for, you know, Horde Knight. I got an engine. Those are very important. I got some cowboy boots. I don't know if I'm going to... Yeah, that's not as good as what I'm wearing, but I felt they were kind of important to show off. I also ended up with a tank top, which I'm going to grab. Uh, an aloe vera seed very important, and a blueberry seed, also kind of important. So let's start by swapping out my shirts, because I was still wearing this terrible thing. So we're going to scrap that, get a few plant fibers back from it, and we're in much better shape now, because this thing actually has some decent cold and heat resist. Good, good. All right, now, next, as you recall, at the end of the last episode, I got the recipe for the workbench, so I was looking at that, we are going to need a bunch of mechanical parts, which is why I have a wrench on me, uh, rather than the claw hammer, because it's better, I believe, at uh, pulling apart things. Also, I only have the one hammer, and that's part of the workbench recipe, so I put that away, keep it safe. Because um, as it stands, I don't have enough iron to do all of this, and I'm also... Actually, you know what? Let's grab these lockpicks, just in case I need them. And I also only have three mechanical parts of the 20 I need. So we're going to start pulling some stuff apart that might have mechanical bits and bobs. Um, I also did just a little bit of repair work on the house. You know, just kind of, you know, repairing a few things that were, you know, a few blocks that were damaged. Things of that nature. Um, so we're going to try and focus on getting the workbench done today. <coughs> Which, I was looking, and that's apparently usually part of a skill, but I guess I lucked out with just finding the uh, recipe for it. So, there's that. Um, I'm still not entirely certain what I'm going to do about uh, time skipping. So, I'm going to kind of continue with what I was doing. I'll get through part of today here, and then we will, you know also kind of, you know, skip into day 10, since obviously the the episodes... Ah, uh, there we are. The episodes where I asked you guys to comment hasn't gone live yet at the time I'm recording this. So, there's that. Let's see, we got, what, two mechanical parts out of that? I mean, it's good. I feel like if I scrap this thing, it's gonna be ridiculous. But, then again, it's not like it's a searchable thing, so... Uh, I get at least one, two, three. I got three mechanical parts from it. Alright, so I got... So, uh, broken down bit of a car only gave me one more part than a shopping cart did. And I accidentally right-clicked that shopping cart at first... Anyway, so it might have given me one extra had I done it right. Oh, the logic in this game sometimes. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to leave that car alone, at least for the moment. That one actually is intact enough that it gives loot. Although it is right next to the house, so it'll probably never actually give me loot again, since I will see it pretty much every day. <coughs> I might break it down at some point. I'll think about it. Um, I haven't been to that house yet, I don't think. I've been to a bunch of these houses, but I seem to recall there being a shopping cart in front of one of them. I also might want to see about... Now, I think 
air conditioning units tend to give more electrical parts than mechanical, but I think they do have some mechanical as well. So I might want to keep a lookout for some of them. That's another car. We'll leave that be, since that's intact enough to spawn loot. And there's a garage back there. Who knows what that has in it? What was that? Oh, cotton plant. Okay. Do, do, do. Ooh, hey, there's a little bit of a farm going on back there. Oh, I also leveled up to six. Um, I have a couple. He gave me two points available. I'm about to level to seven as well, as you can see. So I'm going to hold off for the moment. I really do kind of want to grab that stuff, though. Let's just kind of go into sneak mode here. Because I don't know what, if anything, might be in this garage. Oh, I only have one arrow. I need more uh, feathers. Okay. Looks like there isn't any things. I've already gotten that. There are no zombies in the garage. That's good. I need more of that stuff. Where we might get into um, farming today, too, if there's enough time. Aha! Oh, that's electrical parts. And a wrench. Great. Not exactly something I needed. Yeah, I definitely need more arrows. Or bolts, as the case may be. I should work on that. So not a total bust, but not exactly what we were after either. I'm guessing maybe the AC unit on this place is on the roof. They do that sometimes. Alright, let's kind of... Ooh! Speaking of needing bolts, that'll give me a few. Uh, ammo. Stone crossbow bolt. Thank you! There we go. At least give myself a few to be able to clear out a couple of zombies. Assuming I'm not super terrible. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, there's a shopping cart. Is that... What is that? Is that a... That's a neat looking house. That one's nice looking. Alright. Let's, uh... Get this. Here's one. Two. Yeah, two. Okay, so you only get two from that. That's fine. We have another shopping cart here. Do, do. And once we have the workbench, I think we'll be able to make mechanical parts. So it's really only important to grab them for the initial build. Do, do. So if you're on a server, be kind and only disassemble things to the point where you can build your workbench. Or if you happen to need one of the other parts that can come from it, like a headlight, things like that. Obviously. Do, do, do. And the shopping carts really are, like, the best since... You know, they really tend to focus in on only giving you the parts you need. Although, obviously, try and leave alone the shopping carts that are lootable. There's not many of them, but they do exist. Alright. There's some zombies heading towards where I was making noise, so let's just kind of... Not even sneaking, just calmly and quietly moving this way. Alright, so we got this gears place. This looks like it might have some stuff. I wonder if this mess would have some stuff. It might. Plastic barrel 45. Okay. I think that might be a bit of a oopsie on the... Uh, Designer's part there. I don't think that was supposed to have a 45 in it. Ooh. 
See, and that's why I search the rubbish sometimes, is because they do still occasionally have uh, feathers and stuff. Alright, I'm going to leave this place. Be How am I doing on 16? I think I need one more part, and then I'll have enough of that. And then I'll have to go make myself some more iron. Let's just kind of meander oop, this direction. Grab ourselves some more of that. Hey, egg! Need more bacon and eggs, too. I'm uh, still having some issues where I don't have enough, you know, as much food as I would like. I'm not going to say I don't have enough food. I don't have as much food as I would prefer. Hmm. You know what might have a mechanical part? Oops. Not... Can I... No, that's... How do I get that? Because... Guess not. Doesn't even look like it has mechanical parts. Some of those, some swings have, uh, you know, like the little rollers and stuff. Well, I can search that car from really far away, can't I? Oh, hey, there's another little broken workbench in there. That might actually just have parts in it. Oh, that's a dead dude. Hey, dead dude. You know what you might have? You might have some of those bones I want. Yeah, you got some bones. Bone, bone, bone. Oh. Was that my own character making noise? It could have been. Oh. Okay. Oh, no! That's not my character making noise. Oh, I got a couple of zombies in here. Do do. There we go. Okay. Woo! A little startling, but not too bad. Rolling toolbox. Oh, good! A low-quality hammer. Good. Now I don't have to use the high-quality one. This is an actual workbench. This is an actual workbench. Um, let's see. Resources. I probably don't have the stuff to make mechanical parts on me, but... Or then again, maybe it doesn't even have... Huh. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Science. There's a thing for the chemistry station. Generator bank. Yeah, they had electrical power. I haven't really toyed with the electrical power. I have played since electrical power was added. I just haven't had the opportunity to actually, like, mess with it. Let's see, those are mods, clothing, food cooking, decor, miscellaneous. Huh, maybe you can't make the uh, mechanical parts anymore. That would be annoying. And make most of the things I was just saying totally pointless. Let's uh, pull apart this fridge. Those are electrical parts. There's a mechanical part. I theoretically have enough. I might as well finish out this. Oh. Hello. There was a thing behind that fridge. Neat. All right, you give me your bones. Uh, do, 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 do. Are you gonna... All right, I guess that's not a thing. Sealed shipping crate. And Shamway. So it might actually have some food for me. Bam. Shamway box. I hear something moving. I want to get out of here. Alright, I have the parts I need to make the bench. I really should still go see the trader at some point. 
But you know what we say to that? Not today. All right. Let's head back. We are going to make up that forged iron we need. We will probably swap this wrench out for one of the one quality ones, because I don't believe... You know, all right, at the very least, quality never used to matter for the workbench. It probably still won't. I don't see why it would. Do, 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 do. All right. We are here. We are going to pop you in there. There we go. There's our 20 mechanical parts. We got some electrical in there as well. I'll just move that for the moment. I need another box. I need another box. Um, do, do, do. Basics. Secure storage chest. Craft. All right. Let's put you somewhere. <laughs> I can always do things like that. That's something that you'll see people do on servers and stuff a lot is put them in weird places so that, you know, places that people aren't necessarily going to look immediately. All right. So I still need, I still want those lock picks on me in case I need them. Let's just kind of dump stuff. See, this is this is the problem, is that I'm just going to be like, oh, let's just dump stuff. I don't feel like sorting it. And then I never do. Um, sledgehammer. Oh, wait. I'll keep the eggs out. There's that. Oh, hang on. I know where you go. Actually, I know where you go, too. All right. I will at least sort out the stuff that I know goes in the fridge. Bam. Oh, and the bones, because that's where I've been storing my bones. And the egg. Alright, let's, uh... Also, also... Make up a few more of those. Okay. Metal. Right, I have 12 in here. How much does... Okay, apparently more than I currently have. Twelve! Okay, let's grab some of... Actually, you know what? I've got several of these that I don't need. I'll leave the twos for the moment. I've got one in there to make the workbench out of. I'll leave the two alone. Alright, so I'll take... Yeah, I'll take all the ones minus the one I'm going to use for the workbench. On the wrenches. Um, I, I don't... Oh! Cooking pots. I don't need all those extra cooking pots. Alright, that'll do. Let's, uh... Let's get the old Forge Rooney running. Alright, let's pop you guys in. Turn you on. Two minutes, huh? Two minutes to melt down these wrenches. I've got 12. I need... Was it 20 or 25? It is 25. Alright. And I think I'll go ahead and put the workbench inside... I just kind of liked the idea of having the forge outside, because, you know, it's a really stupid hot thing, and it seemed dumb to have it in a wooden house, even though mechanically in the game it wouldn't do anything. And if I were on a server, I'd have it as hidden as possible. Of course, I also wouldn't be living in a, you know, bog-standard house on a server either, because that's a good way to get your shit raided. <laughs> Alright, so, let's see. We're still waiting on that. I can put A bit more wood in, just to oops, keep that going. Um, I should probably put the cooking pots in after these are smelted. I still... It is annoying to me that I can't make that. Um, tools and traps. Yeah, the anvil. Used to just be flat out the anvil you knew how to make. It's not like it's hard. I could make an anvil. The hard part would be actually like, you know, getting the, 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 the wet sand form in the right shape. Then again, I did have metal shop class, so I suppose that knowing how to make that is slightly specialized knowledge. Because I'd basically just end up casting it. So that's why I said a wet sand mold. Mind you, I've never actually 
cast iron before. I've only ever cast aluminum. It's the same thing, just hotter. If you already have all the stuff you would need. Although, technically, you would need a uh, crucible in order to do casting for that. But I know it doesn't actually oop, have it work that way. Okay, good. That's going. Uh, let's get some of our forged iron on the go. How much can you make? Twelve more? Ah, you need more clay. Let's grab some more of the clay that we have. Because I have a whole bunch. I'll just kind of grab a random amount, like I did. And then as soon as there's a slot free... <clears throat> let's see, 45 more seconds on that craft. Yeah, let's uh, grab those out. Am I hearing? Yes, I am. Oh, that sounds like... Oh, yeah, there's a bunch. Just close that door again. I just didn't want them breaking down my door totally. Do do do. All right. Looks like there's just some zombies wandering past and started getting hit on my uh, thing. Oh, uh, you go do that. All right, that's twenty-four of the twenty-five I need. There, I can make the twenty-fifth. It's always a good idea to have more iron on hand, though. So. We'll just go ahead and finish smelting those down. I hear more of that happening. You know what? We're going to turn that off for the second. Because that produces what is called heat. And it might be what attracted the zombies in the first place. Let me just kind of poke my nose out. Really? Really? Okay. Alright, everything seems fine out here. We're just going to have to replace even more spikes. Do do do. Alright. So, I have that. I have one of those. One of those. I need my mechanical parts. And I think... Yep, that's everything. Alright. Five minutes to craft. So we're going to be waiting five minutes on this craft. Let's see what else we can do in the interim. Um, do, do, do. How are we doing? Let's see. We need to eat and drink a bit more to get ourselves back up to snuff. So let's look at that. Um, salmon, huh? I mean, it's 0% food poisoning. There's a 12% chance of food poisoning on the sham sandwich. We're not that desperate yet. Blueberry pie has the 4%. Let's use that. Because that also gives us back a whole bunch of stuff. Um, do, 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 do. We're going to want some water. I have some extra here. Let's just kind of do that. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That gets us back up to snuff on that. Um, hmm. What else? What else? You know, I also probably could pull apart things like that coffee maker, this uh, microwave. Especially the microwave, since it's not even eludable. Um, how's our trees doing? Most of them are full size. I kind of want to wait till those three finish growing and then just chop the whole lot down. But our axe is not doing great. We, You know what else we might want to make a few of? Is I do have a little bit of forged iron in here that I technically could have used in place of some of that other 
And I have some duct tape. Let's let's make three more repair kits while we wait. I say while we wait, it'll actually be after, but uh, is it a resource? Yes, it's a resource. All right, so we'll queue up three repair kits as well. That'll be good. How else are we doing here? I guess we could also kind of pick what spot we want our workbench. I kind of want to have it on the first floor, but not in the kitchen here. I'm thinking out here somewhere. You know, if I were to get rid of this table... Ooh, or I could always stick it in the corner here. I think it's a two-by, and that would fit right there. Yeah, I think that looks like a good spot. Maybe this way? One of these directions. Let's have it against the wall... No, let's have it against the wall this way, and then I can do things like put a cement mixer in here or something like that. That'll be important eventually. I am going to want the cement mixer, which means I ultimately, unless I happen to come across the plans while I'm out and about, uh, will eventually have to unlock the other thing. Speaking of, I was going to wait till I... Ooh, you know, I am so close to level 7. You know what? I need to get some stuff anyway. Let's Let's look. Now, one of the things I want is I want to start getting into uh, food, like cooking. Not cooking, but uh, farming. So let's take a look at what we need for the farming stuff. Living off the land is the thing I need for it. So that gets two items from wild or planted crops. You That gives me the ability to get seeds for flowers and decorative plants. Oh, including aloe. We'll need that. All right, so we definitely need that one. I'm going to need, let's see, that's with fists and machine guns. Yeah, those are related. All right, let's bump that up, because we're then going to need the next level of it if I want the aloe, because that will allow me to continually replant the aloe and, you know, make, uh, you know, more and more of the uh, salve, which with combined with things like the, the cotton means that I'll have an infinite source of healing items for in the form of the uh, actual like better bandages. Seeds for berries and vegetables. Farm plots cost 50% less to craft. Three items and mutated seeds. Let's see. Wait, that requires four to two level three. I'll still be able to get it next level. Man. I can't make... Okay, berries and vegetables? Really? Hang on. All right, that's a grass seed. Interesting. Um, chrysanthemum. Apparently I can already do that. Pumpkin I can apparently already do. Aloe vera requires the living off the land and or... Yeah, look at that. I, I can't even make the seeds immediately now. But hey, we finished our bench. It leveled me up. We also have the more to spend there. We're going to put you right there. Bam. And now we have a bunch of stuff we can make in here. And we can actually leave stuff to be made in here as well. Um, let's see. Yeah, because there's a bunch of regular stuff we can make that's, you know, in here as well. Like, I can set this to make the spikes. But this also produces heat when running, like the uh, forge does. So we will have to be a little bit careful with it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and we will hit pause while I, you know, talk to the end. I'll finish out this day, much like I did previous ones. Um, and then, like I said, definitely let me know what you think about me skipping time in the comments. That's going to do it for this episode. We got our workbench. Major accomplishment right there. So, until next time, have a good one.